back. WNST, Towson, Baltimore. And Baltimore Positive, we are positively into the May month. And tell you what, one thing I, I really missed during uh, COVID was events and getting out. And uh, I've done so many charity events. Some people think we eat a lot and they make us uh, uh, celebrity food tasters at events and stuff like that. Uh, my wife and I were downtown, lived downtown for 20 years. We had a lot of those. COVID took a lot of those away. A lot of them are coming back now. One of them is one that I've attended many, many times uh, on behalf of uh, a, a group that I'm very passionate about, uh, the National Kidney Foundation. Uh, and it's this week. It's coming up. Sante, Giving Back for Kidney De Disease. This is a fundraiser they've been having since 2016. Uh, it's always been down at the American Visionary Arts Museum this year at the Baltimore Museum of Industry. It is on Wednesday, the 10th of May from 6 until 9. And here to talk about it, we got not just somebody that's been very involved in this, but uh, and also a small business owner during Small Business Owner Week here. We welcome uh, we, we welcome from Natasha's Just Brittle, Natasha Brown Wainwright, the owner of Just Brittle and Be More Made with Pride. I'm Baltimore positive, you know, so, the, you know, we got a lot of things happening here. First off, good day to you. Happy spring. Uh, you know, how's the brittle? But I'd love me some brittle, Natasha. The brittle is great. We put brittle on everything and our popcorn and our candies, brittle, brittle, brittle. Well, yeah, I had somebody give me some brittle last summer down at the beach, and I didn't eat it for a couple months, and I'm going to get her on the program. She works off the eastern shore down in Ocean City, and it was so delicious, and I was eating it in, like, October and November, a couple months after I had it. I'm like, wow, how good would this be if I got it fresh? I threw her a love letter because I love brittle, and I guess it's, you know, not something I've had a whole lot of. I, I can't say that I've eaten a lot of brittle the last 20 or 30 years of my life, but every right. time I eat it, I want more of it. Good. You got to stop out here and get you some. All right. So where's here? <laughs> where's your place? Oh, so we're located in uh, on Harford Road, 6617 Harford Road, inside the cafe at Bimo Made with Pride. Um, we are a cafe serving breakfast, lunch, sweet treats, and, of course, brittle. Well, you're on Harford Road. I'm on Harford Road almost every day of my life, right? Oh, so you got to stop by and see me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got to go a little further inside the Beltway, you know? I mean, yeah. I know my way up and down. I know where every bakery is, and I now I know where your brittle is. <laughs> so I'm going to come find you. G give us your story. I mean, I've been involved in Sante for uh, a number of years, and, you know, I've known uh, donors, and I've known survivors. My wife is a bone marrow transplant survivor. We've done a lot for There Goes My Hero, another local organization. Uh, my wife had a man in Germany donate bone marrow to save her life twice uh and i know the kidney journey um uh from dick cass uh, on and i've talked to a lot of different people and had them on the air i want to hear your journey with this and uh, i think it's always very very personal i know it is for me as well well for the sante i started out just uh showcasing natasha's just brittle i think in 2016 um i was one of the vendors there showcasing my brittle and then i'm also a former daycare provider um i continued with the sante because one of my daycare parents um, actually had kidney disease and we were searching for a kidney for him. And lo and behold, his wife was actually the one that was able to donate a kidney. So- And that's that, incredible to have a match that you're, yes, that's a spouse, right? Like- yes. Yeah, so, so in my uh, wife's case, when my wife had a bone marrow transplant, she uh, needed a family member to have the same DNA. Right. Um, the, the fact that it could have been me would have been outrageous. Right. Like, right, I mean, right. so it's to say, you know, we, there were five people in the world that could have saved her life. It's a yes, little bit wow. easier to match a kidney than it is bone uh -huh. marrow from DNA, but still incredibly unlikely. Right. Right. So after that incident, I just just pledge my ongoing support. And well, that's a miracle, like literally, every right? Every year, yes. <laughs> I, I, was I, had, I was happy it wasn't me. Because I was <laughs> under the knife. And I was just like, Lord, don't let it be me. But thank God it was his wife. So, well, you know what? I, there's something to be said for that, that you're on the outside making this delicious brittle and you're a care provider to these folks. But more than that, that, that I think the same thing. Like, would I have gone into a room and had them hook machines up to take my blood and mm -hmm. taking needles to stimulate teeth. This is what the man who saved my wife's life did. And we right. consider him the highest hero mm -hmm. ever. He's over in Germany. And your point's the same as mine, which is if I had to give a kidney to save her life or my son's life or my son's wife or anybody's life, like that, that's, you know, that's fully committed. I mean, it's fully committed. It's heroic. 
really heroic. I mean, I, it's it's almost un- there's no words for it, right? For right. what your what your family went through, your friends. Right. We were searching for like maybe two weeks. Everybody started to get tested. When they tested me, she asked if I would get tested as well. And I was like, yes, I'll do it. Um, thank God I was too old. So, <laughs> and she was a match. So um, they're doing well. I still, they're still, they, they're like family. Um, he actually played Santa Claus for me this year um, at the cafe. So they're just family and we still keep in touch to this day. Well, I got to see those pictures of uh, of him playing Santa Claus. So uh, <laughs> N- N- Natasha Brown Wainwright is here. She's the owner of Natasha's Just Brittle and Be More Made with Pride. They're over at Hartford Road. Uh, so uh, you can find them out on the internet as well. Or you can find them down at Sante on uh, Wednesday. So uh, giving back for kidney disease. And I want to talk about Sante because for many years we did uh, – tasting but you know food drinks people gathering and yes. then this the floor stops and people get up with these stories mm-hmm. that uh you know inspire people to want to give and so i want to get people down to the museum of industry uh, it's it's www.kidneymd that's kidneymd like maryland.org or and the uh, the hashtag is nkf sante that's s a n t e uh, it has a fun name a different name it's a big party uh it's it, it's the biggest event of the year it's sort of the signature event it's on wednesday night from 6 to 9 it's right downtown I haven't been to the museum of industry since covid too another one of my favorite places been to many many events down there and there's a lot of folks and i want to read them all off because these are the people like natasha you're going to have your brittle there right i'm going to have my brittle and i'm actually bringing some of the vendors that work out of my commercial kitchen with me so you'll have the whole be more made with pride experience well i've had some great great food there i've had your brittle because i've been at this event so i'm sorry i you know we didn't make an acquaintance but i i've been at this event many many times and i now i remember you were one of the vendors, the brittle, the whole deal, right? I've had some delicious food there, but more than that, it's just a lot of people coming together. Um, so let, let's go through this. Bordy Vineyards, Pharmacy Brewing, I visited them, Iron Bridge Wine Company, Log Cabin Chocolates, Lord Baltimore Hotel, where I began my career down in the alley there doing radio back in the early 90s, Mama's Mish's Dishes, uh, Muddy Tea, Natasha's Just Brittle, Raspberry Moments. Well, that sounds like something uh, that I'm all about. Sagamore Spirits, that, that's my boy David Rose and Kevin Blank. Sandy Bottoms Sparkling Rum Cocktails. Not a local party. Sandy Bottoms not there. Stay fair. Hold on a second here. Natasha, I, 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 oh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on here now. As I got my Stay Fair shirt, I'm doing a oh, show at Stay awesome. Fair on Friday. <laughs> uh, all of it brought to you by the Maryland Lottery. I'll be giving these away. We'll be there two to five. Bill Weedell from uh, CFG Bank will be joining us, uh, as well as uh, let's see here, the Beaumont as well. Well, man, the food's gonna be the Beaumont, the local. I'm gonna be at the local on the 23rd up in Falston doing a Maryland crab cake tour presented by the Maryland Lottery, in conjunction with our friends at Window Nation, eight six six ninety Nation. You buy two, you get two free. Three, five years, 0% financing. Union Craft Brewing. My boy Adam will be there. That's good. And Zeffert and Gold as the managing caterer. Oh, Tito's Vodka. So they're doing stuff for the dogs and for the animals as well. Uh, awards competition, photo booth, raffle, silent auction, sports memorabilia. I should throw in a copy of Purple Rain too. Dining, entertainment, local arts, spa, health, fitness, and vacation packages. All the good stuff. And you get to walk the room, eat your face off, drink your face off, and then cry a little bit and hopefully give a little bit uh, for our friends at National Kidney Foundation. So tell me, is there a brittle season? Is that like a, a holiday thing or is it just never a bad day for brittle, right? Well, exactly. Never a bad day for brittle. We make brittle 24-7, 365 days of the year. So. <laughs> oh, so I got to ask you this. All right. I mean, you're a Baltimore person. I am. It's be more made with pride. That's where right, my so name is. Where'd you grow up? Where, what side of town, high school? Give me the whole background. Right here where I live, Northeast Baltimore. I've been here like mo- most of my adult life. Even my uh, daycare center was over the side. So you're a little north of Hamilton, right? Um, are you familiar with Valentino's? Very much so, I'm absolutely. Same block as Valentino's. My dear yeah. friend Pepper Mintz over at Northern uh, Pharmacy. Do you do you give her some brittle? Yes, they they come in all the time for our food. Pepper hasn't had your brittle. We're gonna have a pepper brittle. We're gonna have to do something for Pepper Mintz over there. Um, okay. N- Natasha, now that I know, I gotta learn things. So I have people like you on the show, right? right I mean, I gotta. Right. How, how did you get into brittle? Well, again, I'm a former daycare provider. One summer, I was teaching my daycare children a lesson in business. Um, we used to cook every Friday, so we decided to have a baking business with them, baking cakes, cookies, candies. No, not candy. Baking 
cakes, cookies, and brownies. And one of the children said, let's add candy to the menu. And that's where Brittle came from. Wow. So we cooked Brittle from 2009. And then it got so popular, I closed the daycare center in 2016. Walked away from a business that I had for 21 years. How's the Brittle making business going for you? Good? Must be going great because I'm still staying. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, listen, I get over to, you know, the, the confluence of Northern and, and Harford Road right there. North Hamilton, South Parkville. Yes. I don't know what to call it. Laurelville, I mean, Hamilton. That's okay. north of Laurelville, isn't it? If I'm... Yeah, so we call it um, Laurel, ha Laurel Hamilton or Hamilton Laurelville. That's what Everybody knows it. where it is. Just go to Valentino's yeah. and park the car and figure it all out. Get Peppermint's My Love over at Northern Pharmacy as well. Okay. Uh, and find Natasha. Natasha. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Natasha right the cafe found, they were pride. Also found on Wednesday night at Sante, giving back for kidney disease. Uh, it is Wednesday, May 10th from 6 until 9. It's at the Museum of Industry, right across the street from Royal Farms, another one of our great sponsors uh, yeah. down in, uh, I would call that Federal Hill. Uh, you know, if I'm if I'm being honest, my old homeland and stomping grounds. Great that we're getting events back. Great that local people like you are doing local things like that with the National Kidney Foundation. If you want to learn more, go to kidneymd.org. Uh, and uh, shout out to Evan and Keith and the boys at State Fair and Beaumont for for, for supporting Sante too. I got to text Evan and say I didn't know he's going to be serving me a crab cake on Friday. We'll be at State Fair from two until five. Uh, we're going to have Bill Weedell from CFG Bank Arena. Or he yeah, actually's from CFG Bank that sponsored mm -hmm. the arena. We're going to be talking about the arena, probably talking about cannabis legislation. We're going to be talking about loan the money, all sorts mm -hmm. of things going on. That's next Friday. That'll be at State Fair. Then we're out at the local, and they're also, they just won a huge award from Restaurant Association of Maryland. Oh, wow. I'm going to have Marshall talking about that before we do the Oyster Tour this year. So I know, Natasha, what you thought about me, she looked at me, and here's what you thought. You thought, long hair, he's kind of skinny, probably doesn't eat a lot of brittle. Huh, huh, I do a lot of eating. Hey, you know, I eat me some. I, so, I mean, I'm on an eating tour here. So I'm trying to stay skinny and fit. Thank you, Planet Fitness and Victor Brick for uh, making that happen. Natasha, I'll tell you what, I appreciate it. I am personally going to come by and buy some brittle because I love and Make brittle. sure you bring a um, lottery card when you stop past my table. Bring See one that? to me. Yes. See, see, she, <laughs> you got to come to State Fair 2 to 5. You got to come up to the local on the 23rd. I, I, okay. I'm only I'm only licensed to distribute these three hours every other week on the Maryland Crab Cake Tour. <laughs> Appreciate you. Thanks so much. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Natasha Brown Wainwright uh, selling the brittle, doing the good things, helping people save lives, uh, teaching young children the, the right ways of the world. And you can find her over on Harford Road uh, at her brittle stand and uh, find her online, too. So uh, you can find me uh, at State Fair. And at the local, we're getting around on the Maryland Crab Cake Tour presented by the Maryland Lottery and Window Nation. And uh, it's spring. Luke is running around with the baseball team, waiting on the football team. The La Marathon is, is all over with now. We've got football players and camps. Luke's on all that. Any breaking news will happen first on the WNST Tech Service. That's all brought to you by our friends at Coons Baltimore Ford. On behalf of Sante and Karen Sagal and all of our friends each and every year, hope they have a great event on, uh, on Wednesday night downtown at the Museum of Industry. I'm Nestor. We are WNST AM 1570 Towson, Baltimore, and we never stop talking Baltimore positive.